The U.S. military recently carried out a significant series of airstrikes against Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, marking a pivotal moment in the region's long-standing and increasingly complicated geopolitical conflict. These strikes, which involved multiple fighter jets and warships, targeted key Houthi military assets, including weapon systems and strategic bases spread across Yemen. The action was in direct response to a surge in missile and drone attacks launched by the Houthis against U.S. and allied naval vessels in the Red Sea. The Houthis, who have been receiving substantial support from Iran, have been increasingly active in this vital waterway, further destabilizing the security situation. This series of airstrikes underscores the growing military complexity in the Middle East as the United States moves to safeguard its interests and those of its allies in the region. The specific targets included advanced missile launchers, drone facilities, and command and control centers used by the Houthis to coordinate their attacks. Additionally, the airstrikes were designed to cripple the rebels' ability to carry out further military operations, specifically aimed at protecting key maritime routes essential for international trade and regional stability. To fully understand the implications of this military action, it is necessary to dive deeper into the broader context of the conflict in Yemen and its intersection with U.S. interests in the region. The civil war in Yemen has been raging since 2014, when the Iran-backed Houthi rebels ousted the internationally recognized government and seized control of the capital, Sana'a. This led to a prolonged conflict involving multiple parties, including a coalition of Arab states led by Saudi Arabia, which intervened militarily in 2015 in support of the Yemeni government. The U.S., although not directly involved in the civil war itself, has been supporting the Saudi-led coalition, providing logistical and intelligence support. At the same time, the U.S. has been concerned with the broader strategic dynamics of the region, especially the influence of Iran, which has been actively backing the Houthis. Iran's support for the Houthis includes providing weapons, military training, and strategic advice, all part of Tehran's broader efforts to expand its influence across the Middle East. For Iran, Yemen represents a strategic foothold in the Arabian Peninsula, allowing it to exert pressure on Saudi Arabia and control the vital Bab el-Mandeb Strait, through which a significant portion of global oil shipments pass. This waterway is particularly important for global commerce, and any disruption to maritime traffic through the Red Sea could have far-reaching economic consequences. In recent months, the Houthis have significantly escalated their attacks on U.S. and allied naval vessels operating in the Red Sea. These attacks have primarily involved the use of missiles and drones, many of which are believed to be supplied or funded by Iran. The goal of these attacks has been to disrupt shipping lanes, deter international naval patrols, and pressure the U.S. and its allies to disengage from the region. However, these actions have only increased the likelihood of a direct U.S. military response. The most notable of these provocations occurred when the Houthis shot down a U.S. military drone in Yemeni airspace. This incident was seen as a direct challenge to U.S. military presence in the region and raised concerns in Washington about the increasing sophistication of the Houthi military capabilities. Shortly after this incident, the Houthis launched a coordinated missile and drone attack against U.S. naval vessels in the Red Sea, an escalation that further strained U.S.-Houthi relations. Fortunately, these attacks were intercepted by U.S. destroyers, but they nonetheless highlighted the growing threat posed by the Houthis. The U.S. military's response to these provocations has been swift and decisive. The airstrikes launched against Houthi positions in Yemen were part of a broader effort to dismantle the rebels' military infrastructure and degrade their ability to carry out further attacks. According to Pentagon officials, the targets of the airstrikes included a variety of critical military assets, such as missile launchers, drone factories, ammunition depots, and command centers. The goal of these strikes was not only to eliminate the immediate threat posed by the Houthis, but also to send a clear message that the U.S. will not tolerate further attacks on its forces or those of its allies. This military action is also part of a larger strategic calculus aimed at containing Iranian influence in the region. By targeting the Houthis, the U.S. is indirectly challenging Iran's efforts to expand its foothold in Yemen. Iran has long used the Houthis as a proxy to exert pressure on Saudi Arabia and other Gulf states, 
and by extension, on U.S. interests in the region. By degrading the Houthis' military capabilities, the U.S. hopes to weaken Iran's leverage and limit its ability to project power across the Arabian Peninsula.